Hello everybody and welcome back to the second part of um, the web scraping video playlist. This time around we're gonna look to um, improve some of um, the code we wrote the last time. The last time we only grabbed the title. This time around we would like to grab a little more information like the price and the location, which are, in my opinion, very important when you are out looking for some products. Um, as you can see here, I did not change the code since the last time, except for putting the selector here, um, assigning the selector here as its own variable because it became a little long. All right. And this time around, I also have the uh, Chromium instance here that our program opens when it's launched. All right, so let's get right into it. Uh, first thing we want to grab is the location. So let's define a variable, location here. And uh, we would like to call on product query selector. Now, what selector do we need to do here to get the location? To find out, we can go over here and we can right click the location and then figure out what selector we need. So here we can see the location inside the span. It has a parent that's a div. It's the second div here. And it has a parent as well that's a, this div. And it has another parent which is a div here, a div here. And there is also an anchor tag all the way up here. All right, so let's try to write down that selector here. So the location selector will be as follows. The an anchor tag followed by a div, followed by a div where we target the last child. And then we would like to target the second div below that div. And then finally the span. And um, as before, we would like to check if it uh, exists first and if it does we would like to call inner text on that one or we just want to put it to an empty string perfect next one we want to get is the price so let's choose product and then run cruise selector on that one and then put in our selector once more uh, to get the price let's do a right click here on the price and we can see it's inside this div. So starting from the anchor tag, this time we want to start from the anchor tag, then go to this div and then to this div and then to another div into another div. So we basically have four divs in a row. This section should be quite easy. So anchor tag, div, 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 and div again. Once more, we do check if it exists, cause what if we get a product that doesn't have a price for some reason? Uh, and then we would like to grab the inner HTML or we just define it as zero, in this case as a string. And now we have our values here, so now we can add it to the object that we are returning. Um, but there's one more thing. For the price, as you can see over here, we also have some nonsense. We have Krona dot, and um, we would like in the end to have some integer value. And uh, most likely, in case in case you want to do some sorting or some other kind, so we would like to remove this stuff if possible. To remove it. Uh, we can take the price and then call trim. This function will remove any white space or any white space there might be. And then we would like to call replace as well. And in our replace function, we would like to pass a regex here that will remove any nonsense characters. So we initiate the regex, regex with the uh, uh slashes here and then we put in all the uppercase characters here and the lowercase ones 
uh, in case we get a dot, which seems to be the case over here, you can see Krona dot, we want to remove it. And then we would like to replace that with an empty string. So now the price we get back should look very nice. Let's run our program and see if we get the values that we expect. All right, as we can see here, the terminal looks very good. We get a nice price here and we also get the location. Everything looking very nice. All right, so the next improvement we would like to make is uh, this basically this wait for function call here. So this wait for a function will wait for this div to appear, which has all our products inside. Now, we can do it better than this because sometimes this div will appear and maybe only a few products will be available. And what we can do is to wait for uh, the items to get a specific length before we move on and evaluate the stuff on the page. So instead of wait for, we would like to use the function called wait for function and the function we want to wait for would be document create selector all and so here we want our selector like this now there is one thing here we don't want to select this div, we want to look at the length of the item, the items, right? And we already have the selector right here. This is the products. So we can just take this part and append it here. And we have that selector, right? And we want to wait for the length, right? So what we want to do is to add a dot length at the end of this query selector all and then we would like to wait for a specific value let's say 24 like that so now when we go to the url it will wait for this query selector to reach 24 at least 24 and then move on Let's uh, run it and see if it works. Let's see if we still get some items. Oh, let's check out the console here. All right, so it seems like we did get a lot of items here. And uh, I'm not gonna count them, but it seems like there is indeed 25. Um, yeah, so, or oh, not 25, at least 24. Um, to figure out how many we actually have, we can just take the selector, go to this Chromium instance, open up the dev tools, then the console, we can write it and then see 24 perfect okay that's all i want to show in this video in the next video i want to go through uh, another way we can improve this code and this will have to do with scrolling all right see you in the next video